my name is Joshua Bargo, and you're going to learn something today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your transmitter, any transmitter running OpenTX. So whether that be the X7S, the QX7, X90, Jumper T16, any radio running OpenTX, I'm going to show you how to set it up to play a real drone simulator on your computer. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to go into any web browser and type in real drone simulator. Links in the description. Download. It doesn't matter which one you download. I think they have two options in case one of them is down. You can use the other one. Direct download. And it should it'll ask you if you want to save it, so you can click that. And it should show up in your downloads folder. You can go back into Firefox, and you're going to need 7-zip to extract it. So, so you can go to their site. Download. I have Windows 64-bit. So, I'm going to get the standard one, not the alpha one. Though, I guess you could if you wanted. Download that. You could also use WinRAR. Double click on 7-zip to open it, and then it'll have to install it. And OK. Close. Uh, you can right click on this. Um, hover over 7-zip, and then extract here. So now that's done, I'm going to select all these files, control X to cut them, and then go to my desktop or wherever you want the file, a new folder, just going to title it RDS, and then I'm going to, I'm going to paste the files in there. So since it doesn't actually install it on your computer, you can't open it with your Windows Start menu. Now we need to go over to our transmitter. Over at the transmitter, you can hover over a new model, long press on the scroll wheel and to select it, and then short press to create a model. Uh, go to multi, which stands for multi-rotor, and short press to select that, and then page through these options. Enter long to confirm, and escape, or exit if it goes too far. And then you can page, select a name for the model by long pressing, and then scrolling to get, select the letter. And if you long press, you can make a capital. And of course, I don't know how to spell. And escape when you're done. Just going to title it RDS, standing for Real Drone Simulator. So then you can go down to the very bottom, internal RF, and change it to off. So you can go D16, D8, LR12. If you go to the other end, it's off. Then select that, escape to the top of the page, go to the next page. Page again, page again, page to the mixer tab, and then you're going to long press, edit each one, take it down to a weight of 50 and an offset of 50. And then we're done. We can go back to the computer, plug our 
mini USB cable into the transmitter and into the computer and it should ask you if you want to use the, it as a USB joystick or USB storage click on USB storage and if it doesn't ask you that I'm going to go the whole way out long press on the three lines and then go to USB mode if it's in SD card mode then you won't be able to play the simulator because it won't the computer won't recognize it as a joystick it will only allow you to access the SD card so you want to go to ask and then it'll ask you every time you plug it in if you want to access the SD card or if you want to use it as a joystick to fly a simulator so you can exit out of that go into the RDS file we created earlier double click on RDS EXE it'll pop bring this up and I run graphics quality on minimum I haven't really tried anything above that but I get enough lag with minimum that I don't know why you'd want to go above that um, hit play So then you can use your arrow keys and your enter button to navigate around here. So multiplayer does work, but nobody is ever on it. So you can go to the workbench, press enter, and then you'll want to go to software setup, receiver, input manager, and then start calibration and follow all the steps. Very easy. Just move your sticks to the center and press the next button. And then you can move your throttle up and down, making sure not to move any of the other sticks in any direction. And then press next again, move your yaw left and right. Next, pitch up and down, not moving any other sticks. Roll right and left, or left and right, doesn't matter. And then your arm switch, which we set up earlier. And I did not set up another arm switch, so I'm going to skip that step. I'll press save. Continue. And then you can select your drone. It doesn't really matter. I don't like the Emacs or the JJRC drones. Because they're kind of, yeah, the way they are. So the GoFly is like a small two inch I think no yeah two inch it's a two inch ducted drone well not really ducted but garbage so that's like what you'd fly around inside the buddy RC is a nice little three inch you can put two and a half inch or three inch props on and the ferrule quads is a five inch so you can select whatever drone you want and then hit, click on customize and you can change the motors to different KVs propellers different sizes different amounts of blades whatever you want to do uh, battery you can usually change batteries on this one you can't PV antenna you can put all sorts of different ones on and you can choose whether you want an action camera on or not. They only have the run cam ones, um, but it does add weight, so it takes a little bit more throttle, and it acts like a heavier quad. So I'm going to, eh, I'll leave it on for now. And you can go back, back to workshop, and go to fly, and there's four different levels currently so you have in a virtual world you have green island that's the default map you have the training building if you go back to real world you have hungarian countryside and the grand canyon and i will make another video 
showcasing all these maps. They also have some videos on their website as well, flying through the different maps. For now, I'm going to do the Green Island, because that is the default, and that was what was included on the alpha version. So you just click on Fly here. Alright, starting. So once it goes through its countdown thing, you have all your key hints down at the bottom. J will come from your input device. 1, 2, and 3 is angle, horizon, and acro. C will change your camera angle, or your camera view. R will retry level. Angle, horizon, That's pretty acro. much it. Escape gets to your menu. So you can change the overhead camera view, which is really hard to fly in. Um, line of sight, which is also really hard to fly in because you don't have any depth perception. Three, two, one, go! crash by running into something Three, that it resets two, me. One, go. Uh, you can also go to this to third person view. Enjoy. 